Hey, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crimp your hair. Let's go ahead and get started. Please make sure that you're subscribed. Can y'all believe I almost didn't think to record this? So this is my starting point. I've already coated the hair with heat protectant and bio silk. I didn't section the hair off into four. I just kind of parted the way that I'm parting right here throughout the entire wig. I'm taking sections that are closer to like the smaller size. The less hair that you put in the crimper, the more defined the crimps will be. So you don't want your sections too thick. Detangle and then spray your flexible holding spray before you start to crimp. Pay attention to how high up you place the crimper the very first time because that's going to be the guideline for where you place it in the next section. Does that make sense? I'm letting the crimper do all of the work and I'm holding the hair very lightly, but I'm just kind of holding it straight so it is all fed into the crimper the same way. I hold the crimper on the hair for 20 seconds every time I move, except for when I get to the ends. I don't hold it as long because, you know, the ends are normally thinner. When you move on to the next section, you want to make sure you start crimping at the same area where you started in the previous section so your crimps line up. So if you started crimping an inch away from your scalp in the first section, you need to make sure you're consistent with that throughout that entire row. Make sure your sections, well your subsections aren't too wide because the hair spreads as it crimps. So you want to keep that in mind and do not feed the crimper more than it can actually crimp. This might sound crazy, but crimping kind of reminds me of putting a puzzle together because you can only put the crimper where it fits. Does that make sense, y'all? If that didn't make sense, that's okay. But look, when I move the crimper down, I'm placing it where it fits. Crimping isn't hard, but it is a little tedious, but still keep your section small so your crimps can be really defined.
I started that second set of crimps a little higher than I did the first, so they're not perfectly lined up. If that's important to you, just make sure you pay attention and start all of your crimps at the same exact, like, yeah. <laughs> When I got to the top of the wig, I realized that I did not want my crimps like super close to my scalp. I wanted a few inches of, you know, just super sleek, straight hair. So I kept that in mind when I started my crimps. I also used the row directly under the section I was working on as a guide. Sometimes the ends of the hair went into the crimper the wrong way, like they kind of turned before they went in and it made it so like they curled upward or to the side and just looked really weird. So I went over those parts again, but I just made sure that um, I fed it into the crimper properly. I know I was exhausted because what was I looking at? That last little section is not even lined up. Like anyone with eyes can see that that does not, it's okay. I'm gonna give myself a pass because I know I was really exhausted this day. Now I'm just taking my hot comb and I'm flattening the closure and getting rid of that very first indent that the crimper made towards the top. I'm also kind of using the hot comb to try and marry the crimps together so they're not so separated.
holding spray one more time just for good luck the holding spray i'm using is babyliss defining spray it has a flexible hold but any holding spray that has a flexible hold will work but yeah this is what it looks like on the mannequin head stay tuned so i can model for y'all real quick <laughs> wearing five bundles of 26 inches from my wavy collection i'm gonna leave the details for everything in the description thanks for watching